How to use Asana reporting dashboards. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Asana reporting. In this tutorial, we will explore the powerful capabilities of Asana's reporting feature, which enables you to transform complex data into visually appealing and easily understandable charts and dashboards. Reporting in Asana empowers individuals at all levels within your organization to consume and interpret data in a format that is both engaging and effortless to comprehend. By combining various charts with dashboard views, you can swiftly gain a comprehensive overview of the metrics that matter most to you and your team. With the help of reporting, you can effortlessly obtain an accurate and up-to-date picture of what is happening within your team. This clear visibility allows you to align your team around specific objectives and effectively prioritize work based on real-time insights. So let's get started. Once you are on your account dashboard, since our focus is specifically on Asana reporting, we will concentrate solely on this aspect. The reporting tab can be found in the left navigation panel. To access the reporting feature, simply click on reporting from the list. Clicking on reporting will open a new window dedicated to the reporting tab. Upon entering the reporting tab, you will be presented with a dashboard hub. In this hub, you have several capabilities. Firstly, you can view the dashboards that you have created. This allows you to track and analyze your own data and progress. Additionally, you can also view dashboards that have been shared with you, although these will likely be in a view-only mode. Furthermore, the dashboard hub provides options for customization and management. By clicking on the three-dot icon associated with each dashboard, you can perform various actions such as setting a color and icon for the dashboard, sharing it with others, deleting it, editing its content, or marking it as a favorite for quick access. Creating a new dashboard and adding charts to it is a straightforward process. To begin, locate the plus add dashboard button and give it a click. This action will instantly generate a new dashboard and a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to add a chart of your choice. In this pop-up window, you'll find various options for chart types that you can include on your dashboard. These options encompass recommended charts, resourcing charts, work health charts, and progress charts. If you wish to incorporate a custom chart, simply select the Add Custom Chart option. Upon selecting the desired chart, let's say for this tutorial we opt for the Projects by Status chart. Click on it to proceed. After adding the chart to your dashboard, the chart window will appear, providing you with options to customize it according to your preferences. Firstly, assign a name to your chart by entering it in the designated field. This name will help you easily identify and refer to the chart later. Moving on, explore the options located on the right side of the chart window to further customize your chart. These options include chart style, report on, and filters. By adjusting the chart style, you can choose the desired visual presentation and color scheme that best suits your needs. The report on option allows you to specify the data source for your chart. Click on the project drop-down menu adjacent to report on to view three options, tasks, projects, and goals. For this tutorial, let's select Project. Once chosen, you can decide whether to include projects from your My Workspace, Teams, Portfolio, or other categories. Proceed by selecting the appropriate group and measure. To refine the data displayed in your chart, the Filters option comes in handy. By clicking on the Plus Add Filter button, you can add specific filters such as Custom Fields, Project Status, Dates, Exclusion of Projects, and Archived Projects. Utilize these filters to tailor the chart to your desired specifications. Once you have completed the customization process, click on the Create button to add the chart to your newly created dashboard. The chart will now be visible on the dashboard you selected. Remember, you have the freedom to create as many charts as needed to effectively present and analyze your data. So, in addition to creating new dashboards, you have the option to add charts to existing ones. To do this, navigate to the Reporting tab located in the left navigation panel. By clicking on this tab, you will be directed to the Reporting section where you can access all the dashboards you have previously created. To add a chart to an existing dashboard, simply locate and click on the specific dashboard you wish to enhance. Once the dashboard opens, you will notice the presence of a Plus Add Chart button. Clicking on this button will initiate the process of adding a new chart to the selected dashboard. By following these steps, you can seamlessly expand the range of charts available within your existing dashboards, providing a richer and more comprehensive data visualization experience. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Asana reporting.
Asana's reporting feature empowers you to effortlessly transform complex data into visually appealing charts and dashboards, providing you with a clear and comprehensive understanding of your team's performance metrics. We hope you found this video informative and gained a better understanding of the various features and functionalities that Asana has to offer. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and